Hi, everybody. We are live today for our Game of Bones. We'll play the game at the end of this. But we wanted to talk about bones and chewing and um, the desire to chew when chewing is not okay, which obviously when your furniture is getting destroyed, it's not okay. But there's some other telltale signs. Chewing can also be indicative of some health problems that you may want to look at down the road um, and can be uh, a sign that things have changed. But then chewing is also normal for both cats and dogs. So we wanted to talk a little bit today about the different kind of chews. Uh, but first I'll talk to you about um, reasons that dogs and cats chew. Uh, they chew as puppies to relieve the pain from in incoming teeth. Just like human babies, as teeth come through all of the layers of skin in the mouth, it can be painful. They also will chew to get their loose teeth out. So if you've ever had a puppy like this sweet guy, named Nova, you'll know that as they get older, they need to chew. And especially between four and six months when they're losing their baby teeth, they're gonna want a lot of available chew toys to get those loose teeth out and to help those other teeth come in, their adult teeth. And then as adults, um, Harry especially is quite the chewer. And Harry has some special chews that he likes. But chewing is very natural for dogs. It can relieve anxiety. It can relieve boredom. Um, it can also help keep their teeth clean and their jaw nice and strong. Uh, so there was this misnomer and myth quite a while ago that chewing on kibble would help clean teeth of dogs. That is a myth. The uh, carbohydrate that is in kibble that has to be there to bind the meat together can often actually cause more plaque to form on the teeth. So chewing bones actually helps to clean the teeth and scrub the teeth clean. So you definitely want to give your pet something to chew on if they're inclined to chew. Later on in life, if their chewing habits change, so if they suddenly want to chew on things inappropriate, like cloth and fabric, inappropriate things, and it is a change in behavior, you can definitely get them checked out. Things like Cushing's can cause them to have desire to eat very unusual thing. So it is a sign of some medical problems. Um, cats also chew for the same reasons and often need chews as well. And so I'll go over a couple of things you can also use with cats in addition to dogs. Um, so some of our favorite synthetic chews, and when I say synthetic, it means man-made, not something naturally occurring like a bone or a bully stick or tendon. Um, but bit of bone is a nylon bone that's impregnated with a um, flavoring. So they have different flavors. This one I think is a chicken flavor, but we have peanut and um, beef and bacon. So lots of different flavors come in the bit of bone and they come in several different sizes. And um, they also have this wood looking one. So if you have a dog that really likes to chew on sticks outside, that can be a little bit dangerous. So you definitely want to give them something that maybe resembles their favorite chew, but isn't as dangerous as wood that splinters. Hi, Brittany. Thanks for checking in and saying hello. Uh, Bit of Bone also has this really fun chew that you can stick another chew down in the center. So like a bully stick or a tendon, you can stick down in that center hole to give two different chew options and to entertain your dog for a little bit longer. Those, the center part grabs a hold of the chew and helps the chew last longer. Um, and then you have, yeah, yeah, yeah you can. Um, then you have another synthetic kind of um, chew. It's a rubber, it's Kong. You may be familiar with the Kong brand. These are both their extreme color, the black, um, more durable rubber, but you can also stuff these. So the Kong is stuffable. It has a hole down here on the bottom. You can fill it with things like peanut butter and kibble and even little treats. So nice little treat that occupies your pet and also offers them something to chew on. I think that's it for the synthetic, oh, well, that's it for the synthetic chews. Um, for cats, another really good chew is the silver vine. Silver vine is a plant, and these are silver vine sticks. And silver vine is similar in nature to catnip. So if your cat doesn't react to catnip, they may react to silver vine. And this also acts as a wonderful chew. 
uh, cats chew for the same reason the dogs do to um, sharpen and clean their teeth in the hind area that they would usually use when they are eating their prey. So tearing into bone and things like that, which of course our indoor cats aren't getting those, that kind of exercise. So one word of caution I want to give you is this is not a chew toy. It's a cute toy. It's our friends from Fluff and Tough. And we love plush toys. We have walls full of plush toys and they're great and adorable and so cute. But yes, it is a winger party, Brenna. <laughs> uh, but this is not a chew toy. And if you work with our staff when you come in, one of the things that we're gonna ask you first is, what is your dog's chew level if you're looking at plush? If you are looking at plush toys and you have a heavy chewer, my recommendation is going to be, if you wanna get a plush toy, don't cry when it gets destroyed in five minutes because that is likely going to happen. There is no such thing as an indestructible toy. We do have some toys that are tougher than others. Fluff and Tough last for a long time at my house, but I don't have any destructible chewers. I do have all dachshunds and small dogs, and so nobody is chewing these out. They're usually carrying them around, playing with them. Um, and it's not usually Merida, but suddenly she's taken interest. Um, we love our friends at Fluff and Tuck, but be aware. These are not chew toys, and I would recommend if you have a chewer, don't get plush toys. Get a chew instead. Um, this is another really cute plush toy I wanted to show you because it's made from recycled plastic. It's made from plastic bottles, which I think is really cute. Um, but again, it's it's not extremely durable. It's great. It's fun and good for a little small puppy that maybe isn't really destructive yet. But be aware, not a chew toy. So on to some natural chews. Um, these are our friends from Barkworthy's. This is a cow tail, which it's a mega cow tail, which is a chew, but it's they're going to eat this within about 20 to 30 minutes unless you've got a voracious chewer, and then maybe they're going to take it down pretty fast. But it is um, a nice chew that will keep them occupied for, I would say, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, these are bully sticks. If you're not familiar with bully sticks, they are a cow tendon. And they come in 12 inch and six inch. Our friends from Barkworthy's, um, we love them. We have sold a lot of bully sticks. Uh, they are great. We also have from Barkworthy's, everybody's getting a little out of sorts over here. Stuffed, um, stuffed femurs. These bones are nice. Um, a nice bone because once they get the stuffing out, I don't know if you can really see the stuffing, but that's a peanut butter flavor stuffing. Once they unstuff it, they still have the bone to chew on and you can reload the bone. So you can stuff it again with peanut butter, treats, that kind of stuff. Kind of like a cannoli for dogs. Then you have Nature's Logic. Two different sizes of bones. And these are a little bit more meaty. Um, they haven't been cleaned off like the Barkworthy's bone that is stuffed. And another really good chew occupation. Oh, one other Barkworthy's is an antler. I'm going to talk a little bit more about antlers. We do carry antlers. We carry them like this. And we carry split antlers, um, which have a lot of good marrow exposed. These are not for voracious chewers, so this would be for an older dog or a really young puppy that needs something to chew on, but you're not going to give this to a 60-pound pit bull that likes to chew a lot because they're going to get this and it's going to be gone real quick. But we'll talk about antlers in a minute. Next is Honey, I'm Home. This is a trachea. This is their um, liver wafer. And, of course, all their products are coated in honey. And they are from sourced from buffalo, which is lower in fat and calories than um, your bully sticks. This is their patty whack, which is a tendon. This is their bully stick, which is from a buffalo coated in honey. And this is an ear, buffalo ear. And again, these things are um, nice and crunchy. They're not going to be long time treats, but they're definitely worth chewing on. Um, and giving them to as a snack. The last kind of chew option I have up here is a frozen bone. 
So these are by Primal. We carry Primal and Tucker's Frozen Bones. You can find them in the chest freezers at both of our store locations. Here's a larger one for your bigger dogs. You definitely want to get size appropriate. Um, but these are great to give them outside or in a kitchen. I would not recommend giving them on carpet or any kind of surface like a sofa that you can't readily clean up after they've been chewing it. Uh, you, if they don't get all the meat off of it, you can pick it back up and put it in the fridge and pull it out the next day and give it to them. Until they get all the marrow out and all of the meat off, you should definitely put them back up in the fridge and uh, give it to them the next day. But then once they do get all the meat off and the marrow out, you can give it to them just as a chew. And again, you'll have similar to this, you'll have a bone that you can stuff and they can continue to eat. So, some warnings to you about chews. Always supervise your pet when you give them something to chew on. There are inherent dangers to chewing. And so you should always be present and your pet should always be supervised when they have something to chew. Even though I'm telling you that this is great and this is safe, a dog, a very powerful chewer that I had named Mo, he bit off the tip of this. Now, I was right there with him. I was able to take it away. But if he had swallowed that, it would have caused a blockage in his intestines. So even though it is a safe product, it can cause problems because dogs are chewing on it. And large pieces can come off depending upon the chew veracity of your pet. So always supervise your pet. Now that is the risk with man-made products. They can chunk off large pieces, but the same is to be said for a natural product. These are not man-made. They are natural products, they're bones, and some bones are denser than other bones. And so again, they can large, bite off large pieces. They may you know, have little shards that come off that might be dangerous. They may chew it into a point, which could get dangerous. So I always recommend supervision with chew products because you don't know what dangers could lie there for your pet. And we do love our friends at Benabone, uh, but some bones that were designed similarly, I didn't bring the style over here, that had a hole on either side, it just so happened with some dogs, they were able to get it onto their jaw and it got stuck. Now dogs were hurt, they did have to get it off, sometimes taking them to the vet to sedate them just to be able to slide it off, but, they have redesigned that. And so that problem no longer can occur the way they redesigned it because of the design now of the holes that they've put in there. But again, these are potential risks and you don't know until something random happens and you don't wanna be sorry. I'd rather you be safe. The other thing um, you definitely want to know whether you're looking for something for a long-term long -term chew, if you're looking for something to chew on for, say, 30 minutes, an hour, or are you looking for something that's gonna go away in five or 10 minutes? How fast your dog chews? Do they have strong jaws? Are they a moderate chewer? Are they a light chewer? These are all important factors when you're coming in to talk to us to help you find something for your pet to chew on. Now, I know Curdy has a lot of dogs that chew. Mine don't chew as much. <laughs> and some of her favorite chews are the no-hides. And we carry no-hides in several different sizes. Look, Harry thinks that I'm going to give this to him. He was just <laughs> chewing on one back in the office. And we love no-hides. So a no-hide is not rawhide. That's the name no-hide. It's by our friends at Earth Animal. And it comes in different sizes. <laughs> Harry is like, please give it to me. It comes in six different flavors and several different sizes and packaging. This, These are their sticks. So these would be for small dogs, puppies, and cats. So very easily digestible. They're made from all natural products. They have bromelain in them, which bromelain is a digestive enzyme to help them be even more digestible. But they are flavored. Yep, Marty, I these no hides are wonderful. I'm so glad your girls love them. These are great. Um, they even come in packages of two for this size, um, but several different sizes and a great chew just depending upon um, how fast your dogs go through them. How fast would you say that Harry will go through one of these? That size? Uh-huh. Um, Harry's a little slower at it, so like an hour maybe. Yeah. yeah. One of those, yeah. So it gives you an idea. Again, it depends on your pet and you'll somewhat have to get to know these things about your own pet because each pet's different. Um, Curdy has a larger dog, Molly, 
Molly will take like 20 minutes, <laughs> 30 minutes maybe. Yeah, I mean, it goes by faster for a larger dog, they, which makes sense. They have bigger mouth. The primals last a long time. The primals do? Um, and you've even done the um, answers, hooves. The pig's feet. Pig's feet, mm -hmm. yeah. They last a long time too. Primals last the longest because they'll keep going at us. That's good. I mean, once the pig's foot's gone, it's gone. But that, they'll just keep working on. And so the answers, pig's foot, if you haven't seen those in our freezer section, um, those are not in the chest section. They're actually in the freezers and they're quartered, right? Quartered hooks. Halves. Halves. I um, and so you can give those to your pet. They're fully edible. So they may not eat them all in one sitting. Again, like the marrow bones, if they don't, I'd recommend putting them back in the freezer or the fridge until you can give them to them at another sitting. Um, but they are fully digestible. So if they eat the whole thing, that's the purpose of those hooves. Oh, yes, Christine. They definitely can have those no hide um, sticks. I have a lot of people who ask for shoes for cats. And interestingly enough, I had um, somebody come in wanting us to order these shoes for her cat. Well, we ordered them. And then when they came in, we had not seen an ingredient like label and when it came in it had food coloring in it like chemical food coloring and all kinds of stuff that we would not give our own animals so we called the customer and explained to her this is why we won't carry this we'll order it for you if you'd like but this is another suggestion for what you could use and she was so thankful to have that direction because she had not even noticed um, that it had chemical food coloring in it or um, some dangerous chemicals for the preservatives and so um it was definitely uh, eye-opening for her, and we were able to get her a safer thing for her cat to be chewing on. Uh, Brenna, will a chance be for winning the puppy? <laughs> <laughs> Brenna, you're funny. Um, I think those are all the examples I have. Um, does anybody have any questions about chewing that we might be able to answer? If I can't answer them right off, I'll definitely look up and find the answer for you later if I don't know it all the way. Yes, Christine, you do have to be worried about the stuffing in the plush toys. You're right. That's another part that they will tear it apart and eat the stuffing, and that can cause a blockage, too, on those plush toys. They're great for people who like. Plush toys are great for dogs who like to just carry around a stuffed toy. Sorry, Mary. Like to carry around a stuffed toy just to um, love on and to be a lovey or a baby. But they're really not good for chewers. Likes to carry it around. Yeah. Yeah, Meredith's not big on toys, but Mole loves a toy. He wants to play tug of war with a toy, but he doesn't destroy him, which is nice. It's really good. Okay, I don't see any other questions. Thank you, Peggy. Peggy says, best store. Thank you. I think we have no other questions. So, if you would, let's see. Just signed on, but my puppies love the honeycomb shoes. Oh, yeah, yum, yummy combs. Those are a nice dental chew. Yeah. Um, they come in singles or in packs. They are an edible chew. They go pretty fast, but they're a dental chew. And you can smear those with peanut butter as well if you want to chew um, or any kind of spread. They work really nicely for that. We have a new um, West Paw spread that is really nice. Freeze dried raw chews. Freeze dried raw chews. Yes. Um, Brittany, are you talking about the ones from Vital Essentials? They have some crazy, wacky, freeze-dried broad shoes. So are you talking about, like, the duck heads and the rabbit feet and rabbit ears and, and some crazy stuff? Our friends at Vital Essentials have a raw bar, and um, they have – yes, Brittany, I can get them in for you. Absolutely, I can. Um, we had chosen not to bring them in just yet just because they're a little wacky. Um, but they are very popular, and so we'd be happy to special order them for you and bring them in. If others want them, oh, the moose sticks. You know what? Um, the Honey, I'm Home line has moose sticks, too. If you're talking about udder sticks, um, Honey, I'm Home has udder sticks, too, that we can order for you. Yeah, Brittany, the duckheads are really bizarre. Like, 
it's every time we go to a trade show and I see one of those, I think I'm not sure I can put that out of the store. It's just a little too weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for believing and using every part of the body because I know if they were, if they were choosing, they would choose to do that. But it's a little weird, right? Yeah. I don't know. Harry probably like it. Harry, is that working? Yeah, beef trachea is wonderful chew. Now it is pretty crunchy, it goes pretty fast, it's not long and durable, but it does, it is nice and you can also stuff that one as well with peanut butter or any kind of spread, any kind of um, freeze dried treats. It's a nice little thing you can stuff as well to make it last a little bit longer. Okay, well, we're gonna spin for some free chews. Let me get this over here. <laughs> Marty says too dear. Yeah, the duck heads. I now I need to order duck heads just to show y'all what they look like because they are really gross. Okay, so if you want a spin, comment spin and I'll spin for you, and you can win a free Kong toy, a free gorilla chew, which I didn't talk about gorilla chews, but they are a wood chew that is safe. It's actually the root of a tree. And um, when you, when the pet chews it, it just grinds to a pulp instead of splintering like a uh, regular stick with splinter. Um, so free Gorilla Chew, free Primal Raw Bones, free Huddingham Home, free Nature's Logic Bones, free Venabone, free Earth Animal No High, free Bark Worthies. Spin, 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 man. Wow, you guys know how to say spin, don't you? Okay, Megan. This you're the first spin that came through. Okay, so Megan, you're going to win a free Kong of your choosing. Wow. Wow, this went up so fast. Y'all are so there's so many people here. <laughs> so Megan gets a free Kong chew. David Crawford. Is gonna get. We'll do a free primal raw bone. Brittany. He's gonna get a free gorilla chew. Who's next? I've done. Megan, David, Brittany. I'm not. Yes. Here we go. Free Nature's Logic Bone for Renate. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I know you watch us all the time. I see your name all the time. I'm hoping I pronounce your name right. Uh, Kim Goodman. Free Honey, I'm Home. Marty is going to get a free earth animal no hide, you lucky duck. Yeah, Brenna says they have a freeze-dried duck head at home for Pippa, and it still has the eyes in it. That's why they're the weirdest. Um, Marty Cogswell. You're going to get a free Kong toy. Diane Lamb. A free Kong toy. Amy Laughlin, as you know. Her little spoiled Sophie, who is Harry's sister. A free Nature's Logic Bone for Amy Laughlin. Oh, wow. I just moved it up too fast. Christine. Here we go. I'm going to get a free primal raw bone for Christine. Now, Christy Moran. See what she gets. She gets a free honey. I'm home. Let's see. Brenna Crosser. You get a Lala. <laughs> you get a free Primal Robin, Brenna Crosser. <laughs> I 
And I think, let's see. Come on, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to have a list up at the front of both of our registers um, with directions for our, our cashiers. This is going to be a few minutes because we've got to go back and type it up and send it over to the other store. But when you come in next, or if you call in and place an order, or if you want to place it through the website, you can send us an email and we will refund it through the website. Um, so we definitely can um, we definitely can get you all fixed up with your free products. It's your choosing what free product you want from that company. It is your choosing. So we thank you for joining us. We hope you've learned a lot. And of course, you've gotten free stuff. And if you haven't seen our deal of the day today, it is for Lotus, 28% off Lotus. And we're waiting on our raw totes to come in. They haven't made it yet, but we have uh, raw totes to give away as well. So we're keeping a list and we'll call you as soon as they come in. And then it's 20% off our naked beeline and our masks, which is huge deal. And for those of you who are fans of the Naked Bee, you may know that we brought in the hand sanitizer in the midst of the pandemic as a way to get hand sanitizer into your hands. But we've now brought in the whole line of the Naked Bee products. And so we have a lot of different um, lotions and shampoos, conditioner, foot balm, all kinds of great stuff. Because we are the store for pets, but we're also for their people. And so it is a natural company that we really like the philosophy of and has sold really well for us. So we would love for you to come in and try it out and take a look at it. But it's 20% off today only. And then we have some special sales tomorrow, special deals. Um, and a sneak peek of those is going to be on Colorado Hemp Honey. Tomorrow is World Bee Day. And so we're going to be giving away some free sticks of honey. And we also have a discount on Colorado Hemp Honey and a manufacturer deal tomorrow. I can't remember who the manufacturer is. <laughs> There's so many manufacturers. This has been a crazy deal uh, for us to have deals every day. Uh, but it has been a lot of fun, and we hope you guys have enjoyed the discount. And know that these discounts are going to go on through next Saturday, the 28th. Goruva is 28% off tomorrow. So there's your sneak peek for those of you watching. And next week, we will have some special deals. We have a bonus deal on Wednesday, so a lot of fun to keep watching. All of these deals take place. And if for some reason you can't get in on the day of the deal, you can always place the order online and you can uh, pick it up in the store later. So it's just an easy thing for you to be able to do and be able to order from the comfort of your own home. If you haven't already subscribed to our email list, I'd recommend going to our website and doing that down at the bottom of our website. See on our doing because uh, we are sending out some special announcements through email we'll send another one this week so be sure to sign up and get on our email list we hope you guys yes i'll tell you guys a little bit about nova just in case you weren't watching yesterday he actually belongs to a friend i've been puppy watching him since yesterday but nova is what's called a double dapple dachshund and he is blind for all intents and purposes he can maybe see some shadows um, but he is blind. He can see, but the genetic deficiency from his breeding has caused him to be blind. So he is a cutie, and we've had a lot of fun with him the last 24 hours. Um, but he's been back in the office playing with Harry, and he's a little bit tired now. So we're thankful for a tired puppy. Mm -hmm. He's been enjoying the bin of bones, though, this morning. When he hasn't been playing, he's been chewing on a bin of bone. So we hope you guys have a great weekend and enjoy your free chews. Give us about 30 to 45 minutes before calling in or coming in to try to get your free products. But they will be here all weekend so you can come in and choose yours when you are ready. And we hope to see you very soon. Thanks, guys.